The next zone in the Etchy Going Formation that's highlighted in the virtual field experience is named after a gastropod called the, uh, it's called Siphonalia, and so that's the genus name for this particular uh, variety of snails. So gastropod is a snail. So it has a shell that uh, has whorls, so it's, it's a spiral. And this isn't the best preserved a siphonalia, and that's somewhat typical, um, is oftentimes when we find it, um, we may not have the whole shell preserved, but we know what it is from the overall characteristic shape. And in this case, um, we have a partial cast, but we can still see from the overall dimensions and characteristics of the shell that it's the, the same genus. So that's Siphonalia, and sometimes we find you know, smaller ones in size, but again, from the characteristic uh, shape and aspects of this gastropod, uh, we know that it's Siphonalia. Uh, there are other gastropods that you can find in this zone, and this one's a beauty. Uh, the name of this genus is Foraria, and it has these very interesting uh, spikes that are very characteristic of the uh, shell uh, as it has these uh, various whorls, so it also has a spiral dimension, but unlike uh, Siphonalia, uh, it has more ornamentation. So we're always excited when we find those associated with the zone. Um, other common fossils, uh, the mussel that we also find associated with other fossil zones in the Kettleman Hills, we also find in the Siphonalia zone. Uh, as we saw in other zones, uh, there can be barnacles that encrust or attach to uh, shells of other fossils. So in this case, in the Siphonalia zone, uh, we see examples of barnacles that have attached to this mussel shell um, from the genus uh, Middleus.